Hi guys, Andy here, and in this lesson we're checking out the solo to Californication. This is one of my recommended top 10 easy guitar solos recommended for beginners. Now this is beginners who have some single note experience, but this is one of the best examples of a full proper lead guitar solo with bends, with some slides, and uh, all that kind of good stuff but that is nice and slow and, and fairly straightforward to learn. So let's give this one a really good go and check out the other lead guitar songs on my channel and uh, let's get you straight in for a close-up. That's the start of the Californication solo. It starts with our middle finger at 10th fret, first finger at 9th fret and that's on string 2 string one and then we have a full tone bend of the third string third finger at 11th fret and remember whenever we're bending a note so increasing the pitch like this we need to support our bend with uh, so we're typically going to bend with our third finger typically and we want to support it with our middle and first finger have the thumb hooked over the top like this and we're sort of anchoring over the pivot, around the pivot point of our thumb in this kind of motion. And we want to bend it up to the pitch of the note that is two frets above the note we're bending up. Okay, so you want to listen in your mind and remember sort of physically how far that is. Now, Typically, as a little sort of guide, if you're doing a one fret bend, so this would be just to here. Okay, so we're just bending to the pitch of the note that is one fret over here. You just about bend just physically, just underneath the next string adjacent to it. And when we're doing a two fret bend, you're just under the string that's sort of two strings away. So one, two. So we just want to be just under this one, typically. Now exactly how far that is does change as to where you are on the neck and which string you're on, but it's a nice rule of thumb. So, okay, generally doing the bend mainly with our, our middle finger and third finger, so that we can uh, have this note down a little longer, this first finger note, but it's going to get in there and help out as soon as it can afterwards. That happens twice and is the start of um, start of this solo. Okay, after that's happened twice, four times of this note, so the third finger, the one that we've just bent up, one, two, three, four, that's this one, but again my fingers are like this the whole time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay. Then ninth fret back to eleven. And then a little bend again. And that's the end of the first section. So from here. So from the top one more time, three, four. One more time, nice and slow for this first half, two, three, four. Then the next, uh, sort of the second half of this solo, so if we treat all that as the first half, it sort of repeats again, but it goes higher. 
So that is the same two notes that started the song. And then third finger, remember if your fingers are on this angle rather than being like this, um, we can do our bends easier and your fingers can do a stretch much easier than being like this, okay? They don't have to be as wide apart as you might think. And uh, for a lot of this solo, my finger, first finger is actually touching the bottom of the neck like this. Again, it's an anchor point for the bending. That's our first four notes. One, two, three, four. That was 12th fret and 14th fret. Three, four. Then a very similar one again, but we bend that last note. So again, it's a whole tone bend. We're getting up to that note. Now this time, we're pretty much touching this string. You know, even going over that to get the pitch of it. But again, it's a nice rule of thumb that you have to get somewhere near, at all times, the, the string that's two frets away for a two fret, two strings away for a two fret bend. Just to recap over that. So I think this bend can be easier for some people, but a lot of people find it trickier than the uh, lower string bend. Then we're on to this final sort of walk down section where we need your third finger to start us off at the 17th fret of the thinnest string. So 15, so 12, 12th fret is the double dot. The next marker point here is 15, where my guitar pretty much ends, is at 17. That's here, okay? And we have this little melody. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, Two, three, four. One, two. That's sixteenth fret. Fourteen, seventeen, fourteen, seventeen, fourteen. Back to seventeen. And then we do something called a unison bend, which is this. So we're holding this note down at the same time as doing the bending one. And it's called a unison bend because we bend them to bend this note to the same pitch as the first note we hit. And it gives this real oh, scorching kind of tone as opposed to bending it on its own. It's got a lot more energy, a lot more grit, a lot more power. Sound great. And we do three of them. One, two, three. Now I think it's really important to be kind of gripping here on, on the neck, so you've got a really solid grip. First finger's just going to stay still, and the third finger um, and, and your uh, middle finger push up together. Little finger supporting the third finger here, because this is, this is physically demanding for your fingers. Um, thinner strings I'd highly advise. Um, I've got nines on this guitar, you could even go for eight, so that would be like eight. A 10 and uh, probably a 14 after that, something like that. Much better than the sets most of you will have. And then after those three bends, one, two, three, little finger, 15, back to 14. Let's have a recap from this little walk down section. Three, four. Okie dokie. One last time. Two, three, four. Then we have a bend that we need to do typically with our first finger. However, when I've taught this privately, um, very few students can do this in you know the, the first few attempts, but most of them can do it if we do it with a middle finger bend. So we're gonna do it that way, like that, okay? So we're gonna 
bend the middle finger, uh, bend the 14th fret of the first string up with the middle finger and support that bend with your first finger in the same kind of fashion you're doing the other bends. It is a two fret bend. Okay. And after that one, it's just one bend up. 17, 14, back to 17. Kind of just walking down our scale after that. One last time. One, two, three, four, one, two. And then the last four notes. One, two, three, four. And a little technique here. Rolling technique where we have a flat first finger and then go on to the tip to hit that last one. So it starts off flat and then goes on to the tip. All that second half play through really slowly. Hint of vibrato there. Play through from the top. Remember, this is over the section where we have F sharp minor to the um, D major seven. Starting from here. Two, three, four, play through. There we go, my biggest tip to you, especially for this solo, but for any lead guitar line you learn, is please memorize the way it sounds before you kind of get too stuck into it. You don't want to be looking at the notes until you can sing it. If you can hum it sort of in your mind or whistle it to yourself, then you're ripe and ready to really attempt it and be able to memorize the whole thing. Because it does take memorizing, because to be able to play it well, we need to memorize it. We don't want to be just looking at the tab and using the tab to remember it. You want to be able to play this from musical memory. Um, you need to be able to sing it first. A bit like there's no way a singer would be attempting a song until he knew the song really well. You don't just read the lyrics and read the melody and kind of go for it hell for leather. You've got to have memorized the song a little bit, a little bit first. So that's my biggest tip for you. Check out the other easy lead guitar solos or there's plenty of easier lead guitar solos than this that teach string bending and things like that on my channel. The link's just here, but that is how to play the Californication solo. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and you can check out my electric guitar starter course, which will get you started with lead guitar by clicking the links on screen now and in the top corner there. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.